hey guys you are watching teachers so today we are going to learn how to write a java program which will help us to check whether the number is a happy number or not so first of all we need to know what is a happy number a happy number is a number starting with positive integer replace the number by the sum of the square of its digits and repeat the process until the number equals 1 if it equals 1 then it is a happy number or else it is an unhappy number so now as you've come to know what is a happy number let us now write the code so first of all we need to import which will uh, help us to import the scanner class through which we will take the inputs from the user then we will declare the class as public class happy number in this class we are going to first declare the variable in which the user will store the number now to store the number we need to write a function named void input in this particular function we will take the input from the user and to do this we need to write a scanner class scanner sc sc which is the name of the object of the scanner class equals to new scanner system dot in then we'll display a message to the user telling them to enter the number the number which the user will enter will be stored in the variable n this particular line helps us to store an integer value from the user so now we are done with this particular function then we will write another function named public void app num this function uh, will declare a boolean value variable named app next we'll in this fun function we'll invoke a function named check app check app with the parameter passed as n means the original number entered by the user if the return value of, ha of the function invoke check app is equals to equal to true it will display a message that the number is a happy number so now we are done with this part of the function also now we are going to write the main part of this whole concept that is the part of the, fun the fu function in which the concept of happy number will be written so it will be named as check app with the parameter received as int p Okay, 
so now uh, first of all we are gonna declare some variables like int dig int sum equals to zero we are gonna also declare a big backup variable as int v equals to p which stores the original number of the parameter received after this we are gonna write a nested while loop with the first condition as v not equals to 0 in this then in this while loop we will declare the sum value as 0 as I said that we will write a nested while loop so this is my second while with the condition v greater than 0 so in this while loop we are going to write the summing of the squaring of the digits so it is as follows dig equals to v mod 10 the mo mo modulus here the modulus here plays the helps us to extract the last digit of the number and in the variable sum we are going to store the square of the digits which will be which will be done by the function math dot pow in the first parameter we'll pass the value of dig and in the second parameter we'll pass the value 2 as because we are squaring it up so next step is we'll delete the last digit of the number thus here we end our second while loop after this while loop we we'll, uh, insert the value of sum v then after the completion of both the while loops we will check if v equals to equals to 1 that's because for a number to become a happy number the sum of the square of the digits should be equals to 1 Re so if it is a happy number it returns a true value or else it returns a false value So here we come to an end of writing our program of how to check whether the number is a happy number or not. So now to run this pro program we need to write we need to write the main main function and for the main function first we need to write public static void min string args after this we are going to create an object of the class happy number named as abc equals to new happy number here the new keyword helps us to invoke the constructor of the class happy number by default using this object 
abc we are going to invoke the functions input and hap num so now let us see whether the program is whether our program is right or wrong so right click run as java function so it asks for, it asks for us to enter the number so let us enter 19 so yes the number is a happy number 